so this was a really hard video to make um, if you saw the most recent funk bro video you would know that we're pretty much being forced to sell our new house and we have 30 days to get out of here pack everything up and find a new place to live I feel like before getting into all of that I want to take you guys way back to the beginning of this insane journey. So around five years ago, I was touring the world in a band called The Tide. At that time in my life, I thought I was going to be a musician for the rest of my life. Then one night when we were on the tour bus heading to a different city, I discovered these guys on YouTube called the Funk Bros. Today we're gonna be filling our entire house with packing peanuts. And yo, I thought these videos were so fucking insane. And at the time I was like, damn, this is really cool. But let's focus on music. Then something happened that none of us expected and that band that we toured the world with ended. So now everyone was going out and getting normal jobs and I thought I could either go do that or pursue a new passion. And I remembered watching these videos on the tour bus and always being like, I would love to do that. So that's exactly what I did. I started posting videos all over social media, getting a little bit of traction, which then got me invited to a place called VidCon. And when I was walking around, I recognized this dude and I was like, he looks so familiar. And that dude was Corey. I kid you not guys, I was literally fangirling. I was like, bro, I watched your stuff all the time. So the only thing I could think of was, let's film a video together. So we did a backflip together. We met up at this party called Studio 71 and we were like running around doing flips and just having the best time. Yes! Then after VidCon ended, me and Billy both went home and I got a message from Corey. Hey, you and Billy should come to the house and stay for a bit. And yo, I was so pumped. So me and Billy both bought plane tickets and headed out to LA. We had the most unreal time there. We were filming insane videos, doing crazy things for several months. Then something happened that changed me and Billy's life forever. Okay. Get him! Get him! Get him. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. They kidnapped Billy, put all of his stuff in a moving truck, and drove all the way to Los Angeles. Welcome home, Billy! After they moved in Billy, we were on a cruise ship in the middle of the ocean, and they flew to Ohio, grabbed all of my stuff, Drew's parents do I have permission to steal your son? Gotcha. Brought it back to Los Angeles, and when I got there, they moved me in. Wait a <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home, bro! <laughs> Everything! Wait, wait. No way, hold on, you- <laughs> Oh my shit, bro! These boys literally changed my life, and for the next year, we had the most insane time there. Then we ran into a problem, the neighbors. The neighbors complained that we were having fun and pretty much got us kicked out of that house. Look, this is where all of the memories were, right here. I miss this. Yeah? We literally gone for a week and it's already down. So after months of figuring out what to do, we ended up selling that house and then buying our new one, which is this one here. This house was bigger, better, and we had so much more property to do stuff on. Then, about six months in, the neighbor yelled at court. Wait, what? I'm reporting your deal out here. I'm sorry, what happened? You never talked to me. Can we talk about it? I never talked to you. You never talked to me ever. This is the first time. Can we talk, please? Now that leads us here 
to present day. The neighbor literally sent us sue papers. He's threatening to sue us in so many ways and making it impossible for us to do anything here. Literally just one of those dudes who just hates people having fun, wants to watch the world burn, and pretty much try to keep us from achieving our dreams here. Then Corey and Capron had to make the big decision to move. Uh, we chose to sell the house and we're gonna be selling the house. And you guys got 30 days to find a new place, but that's like our only decision right now. And we're stuck in a corner. And yo, this is where it gets tough because moving isn't gonna be the same. Capron is now a dad with a family. Corey is doing his own things. I have my things going on. Now is like the first time that everyone kind of has to separate and start their own lives. For those of you that have been here from the beginning, watching this YouTube channel grow, watching us grow as individuals, genuinely love you guys so much because you've literally watched so many things in my life happen. Come here, babe. Like, you guys have literally watched me and Britt. You went from a girl that I liked and I had a crush on. Well, we went from friends. We went from friends to being crushes and to having a full-blown relationship for almost a year. We're almost like a year into dating. Yep, less than a month is our one year. That's crazy. And literally, you guys have been here through the entire thing watching us live our lives. And, you know, we've had a crazy first chapter and now it's time for us to move on to the second chapter of our life. We need to talk about moving in together. So if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. It genuinely means the world to me. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year. I love you guys. This is going to be a wild ride. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you guys too. <laughs> <laughs>